vehicles of James Bond are some of the most famous in the world. But outside the confines of the silver screen, they're almost never seen in public. Well, this is the Lotus Esprit from The Spy Who Loved Me. And the thing you'll notice is that it hasn't got any wheels. It's got fins instead. It was an amphibious car, and it went underwater. It also had a periscope in the roof, so that Bond could actually see his adversaries when he was under the water. This is a BMW 750 from the film Tomorrow Never Dies, and it is the ultimate Bond gadget car. It has everything conceivable that you could want on it, including this magnificent row of rockets coming out of the sunroof, and a wonderful 20,000 volt defense system to deter any would-be car thief. Now, wouldn't we all like that on our cars? And it's also totally bulletproof. For our motorbike enthusiasts, we've got a motorbike in the collection here, a BMW jump bike. This was used in Tomorrow Never Dies in a very spectacular stunt in which Piers Brosnan, handcuffed to his accomplice Wei Lin, on the bike actually had to jump from the top of one skyscraper to another with the whirring blades of a helicopter underneath. There's one of the original Aston Martin DB5s used in the Bond series. It is the epitome of an English gentleman's sports car. If you think of British sports cars, Aston Martin has to be the tops. And what else would Bond drive but the best top British sports car? Perhaps one of the most prized cars is the Rolls-Royce Phantom III from Goldfinger. I'm sitting very, very carefully on the bumper of this beautiful Rolls-Royce Phantom III that was used in the film Goldfinger. We're absolutely delighted to have this car in the collection because for 35 years it's been in a private collection in America, so nobody's been able to see it. But two years ago, E.ON bought it back at auction in New York. It is the epitome of an English car and very different to the other cars in the exhibition here because it's not a racing or a sporty car. It's just sheer elegance and luxury. Bond had switched to BMWs for several of the films. But for the 20th Bond movie, he returns to a gadget-laden version of the Aston Martin V12 Vanquish. This 48-valve, 6-liter, 12-cylinder engine pushes a car that goes from 0 to 60 in 5 seconds. The car is as close to space age as any on the road today. Priced at somewhere around a quarter million dollars is the perfect vehicle for 007 to take on the villains and make a quick getaway with the Bond girls.